now here's what I have done not much I only extra extruded this group of uh, faces and then I extruded these faces inside inward after I used uh, insert to create this insertion and push them back now I need to work on this part to get this look so I need to use the swift loop to create few cuts I need to create uh, one cut here and another cut right here and I need to make this cut and this cut too I think that's enough so let me check what we have we need to get rid of this middle piece and raise this like it looks here so I go to polygon mode and I get rid of this piece but first I need to move the vertices I need to move these vertices this way and these two get back to polygon mode and get rid of this polygon I don't know what we have right here but I think we have a very thin we can get rid of this okay so next I need to extrude this part out not not really extrude just take it out using vertex mode I need to work on these two vertices and of course I need to work on left view so I can see better and I will push them forward like this and this too and I need to raise these vertices upward and start rearranging everything so it looks smooth and gives me the shape I would like to get I need this to be like this and of course I need both of them to have the same look I don't need this polygon gives me extra vertices I don't need more vertices so I can get rid of it and that's it it will look better when we use the turbo smooth we can be raised more and that too fine so now what's next next we need to modify this edge to make it look like this so again it goes from up to down slightly and from th thin to wide so I need to push this
until I get the line I would like And I need to go to front view, select these points. Only these points. And use the scale on the x-axis to scale them. Now in the left view, I need these to go wide and the rest to go up. So these should go up so they can give me the lock with the angle I need to have this one okay still I need to push this inside these two or maybe these three in the uh, this view I need to push them down to get the same line with this and in the left view I need to push them inside like this and of course the ones following should be pushed as well I think they work fine don't worry about the length we can work on these two edges later to make them take the same direction so that's it for this part I need to extrude these two right here let me go to front view and make sure these two pieces I need to have this separated than this yeah I have one piece here so I need to create additional cut Maybe I can use the cut tool and go from here to here, right click and then I need to manipulate this Oops. to make it a bit wider and I go to front view these two needs to go down and pushed and same for this should be straight now I need to make sure that all this line is even fine so uh, I think these two one of them is big let me check with the photo yeah this one is small and this is big but maybe these these three needs to go slightly to the left 
yeah, like this. Fine. Uh, that's it. Let me go to polygon mode, and I need to extrude these two to create the space. And of course, we need to take all this part. So again, I'll make sure all the vertices are even in the front view. Let me first push this to the left, so it can go with the back of the group. So in the front view, I'll select all of these, yeah, exactly. Make sure you're working on one of the orthographic view every time you make these scales fine now they are all even and this three needs to be even together and maybe pushed slightly inward and all the group needs to go down fine so now these polygons are ready for being extruded I need all this group of polygons uh, it's hard to see them yeah this way now we need to select the edges we would like to create the base these two we can take all this edge and later we can bend it according to our needs Shift and drag. Maybe that's too much. A bit. Let me drag this up. And we need to take these vertices. Upward. And I need another cut. Maybe the swift loop can help me. Okay, that's it. I need to use or select this. Push it like this. So I got this base. I got my base. I got this curving right here. I will stop the video and adjust this line to look like this line and then I will show you exactly what I will do I will take this bunch of vertices and push it to get this curvy little thing so we can connect it right here to this part and let's continue I will stop the video now and continue with you in the last on the uh, sorry in the next tutorial